dig into what's coming up in the festival playlist. We'll follow that by a look at the brand new cars coming this update. We'll then take a break and look at the slideshow. This is a Halloween themed slideshow. So you guys have been sending in your photos. We'll take a look at those. We're gonna follow that up with a brand new Horizon story. We're then gonna do a bit of a race on a community route. Uh, so I think, I think it's gonna be me versus Chris uh, on a community route to see which of us is truly the greatest driver at Playground Games. Uh, we're then going to have a little tease of some future content coming in later Taurus. updates. Uh, I just uh, need, I've been playing a bunch of Switch, so I need to kind of reverse my muscle memory on the <laughs> AB thing. So if I drop out of a bunch of menus, it's because I'm pressing the wrong button on it. So of course, <coughs> Halloween is fast approaching, so we are yes. able once again to get some of the cool Halloween cosmetics that haven't been around for a year mm -hmm. now. Yeah, literally a year. So, um, <laughs> Funny um, that. Yes, Halloween, it only comes once a year. Um, so there's, uh, the theme all up uh, for this update is great rivalries. So it's focusing in on uh, either like very specific well-known rivalries uh, in, in motorsports or more like conceptual rivalries of um, things like the, uh, the X-Raid that was built to win the Dakar at all costs against basically everyone else. And as we know, Mini actually went on to do that for two years running. So it's kind of the, the overall theme that, that carries through a bunch of the stuff that we've got in. Um, we have, in addition to uh, that, a brand new Showcase Remix, um, which is uh, an opportunity to get yes, a fantastic Halloween loot, the Haunted House Legendary Horn, uh, by uh, racing some uh, bikes in uh, a buggy in uh, a Showcase Remix that's named motocross purposes because... Um, <laughs> We, we, we have no shame, it's great. Um, so moving on to of the new cars in this update, we have the Rossion Q1. Um, yeah, we can drive it later. It's, so it's a really interesting one. It's a North American made car now, but it's based heavily on the Noble mm -hmm. uh, M400. And, so, and I think uh, the Noble, and, so, and I think uh, the Noble, I think that this specific car, this specific car's heritage goes back um, to South Africa. Then uh, yeah. another um, seasonal uh, championship, this time based on uh, community routes and with the opportunity to win the Zero Uno, which I know is, is a car you, you absolutely Yeah, I adore it, yeah. Yes. Uh, that's, he does, he does that like it. Yes, they um, do that. Um, it's a skeleton body. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, a, a nice combo. Something there. else there as well, which I think people might be excited about. Uh, yes, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Devo. Yeah. Yeah, listed uh, as a, a common common car there. We're going to try and fix that soon. Um, it, it hopefully it won't be common by the time it, by the time it lands with you guys. Is there only like 40 of them, right? Yeah, there's 40 of them. It started off as a concept car, um, and then Bugatti took it to a production run. There's 40 mm -hmm. of them. As Bigatti describe it, it's the Bigatti that can do corners or is built for corners. Mm. So yeah, it's some built, more handling. Builders built specifically not for corners, of course. Uh, pretty much straight line speed. Great. Um, uh, weekly thoughts on here, the uh, Mini X-Raid, the specific uh, championship that I was talking about. As we go forward through it, we have more Oops. kind of was uh, a trial championship. Event. Was it was a trial event that I skipped there, yes. Ooh. Ooh. The Holy Trinity. Yes. Uh, along with another chance at the Remax C2. Yes. Cool. Which is a lot of fun. Um, and not one, but two rivals of its. Again, kind of uh, absolutely classic uh, vintage races. I had a go at both of these. And, yes, uh, it is. Uh, the story that we'll be looking at later. Jumping into winter, um, we have uh, the return of uh, the Koenigsegg CCX, which is only one of two Koenigseggs. We but this is a returning car. Yeah, we have a, a new to the game Koenigsegg as well right. coming. So, uh, spoiler alert, that's coming up uh, a little bit. Whoa, 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 weekly thoughts on in the 2005 BMW M3. Don't be skipping these, these solid sorry, gold, sorry. I, I, solid I, I, gold What is it with you then? and uh, BMWs at the moment? <laughs> this is not a new thing. This has very much been a, a, a cornerstone of my personality for a number of years. <laughs> Oh, great stuff. Yes, I mean, actually, the M3 versus uh, the RS4. Wow. Um, executive saloons. Good stuff. Um, uh, return of uh, Showcase Remix um, for, uh, I mean, you built this. Uh, sure, yeah. I mean, that's probably undermining the work was done by... Like, well, I mean, yes, the bulk people. of the work was, was, was done by the people who did the original ones, but, I mean, you put yes, this... Yes, my fingerprints are all over the Halo Showcase, that is correct, yeah, and, yes. and indeed this remix. Yes, which is uh, good fun. And there's another championship that I'm looking for, on, is a, another community championship and uh, another one of the unique cars in yes. this update. BMW, Mike. Yeah, I know, that's why that was what the yes for. It's got a big wing on the back of it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. And it's uh, really orange. And jumping to uh, spring, we have uh, the other Koenigsegg that you talked about. 
Yeah, this is a really interesting car. So this was built to compete in GT1. That's another one of the uh, cars being added in the series. Take yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Uh, going through uh, the rest of uh, the content, we have King of the Monsters. Obviously, uh, Nissan and Porsche. Fun little reference there. Um, just all up uh, kind of uh, rivalries across the, the championships and the another final. The R2R Mustang S5. Yes. And, and another BMW. BMW yeah. An 88 Forza edition. That's a great M5 as well. That's great stuff. You sure you didn't have a hand in like picking <laughs> the cars for this? Because a lot of BMWs this series. It's, like, it's almost like someone was specifically trying to please me when they picked this stuff, <laughs> which is possible that someone would have been. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, should we take a look at the cars? Yeah, go I, I, before we jump out, should we yes. just? Uh, I don't think we th we obviously show them. But I don't think we actually look at them, the uh, the series rewards on the far left. Right, so, let's um, go so we have the, the 20, 2017 Aston Martin Vanquish mm -hmm. again, and the Porsche 718. So it's only the second time to get that Vanquish. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Same yeah. for the 718. I think. Cool. Yeah. All right. So if you guys missed those previously. This is your chance to get them again. Yes. Get your game on and play them. All okay. Right. Um, if you want to jump into the car, I will just yeah. remind everybody, uh, we are hoping to do a Q&A at the end. So if you have any questions you'd like us to answer, if you just go into the Mixer chat, say, hey, Tom, followed by your question, we will endeavor to answer those at the end. Thank you. OK. I'll just, uh, yes. So starting off with <coughs> Mike's the M3. Favorite. I love this car. Yeah, so th I mean, I think this, all, this holds a special place for all of us, because this was a DLC car in Horizon 1. Yeah. Um, it drove great in Horizon 1. It looked fantastic. In fact, we have a banner in the studio of this and the Mercedes CC63 MG mm -hmm. yes, yeah. at Walk Pass every day. Um, but it's a great car. Um, so this was when, so BMW for the um, both the E46, uh, the E92, and the current F10 M4, they've all had like a GTS CSL type um, mm -hmm. limited run track special. Uh, that's what this is. So it's got the wing on it, makes a little bit of downforce, better tires much better tr uh, suspension setup for track work, so it's much stiffer. Um, mm -hmm. This thing drives really well. Um, yeah, fantastic it, it driving fun. car. Um, I should actually pass it over to you. You have a yeah, go. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, this was my, uh, my go-to car in FH1, so I am very happy to see her make a comeback. I drove. What's next? Which car should we take so, up? So, uh, jump into the My Cars menu. So there's a bit of, of a theme of people haven't noticed already this month, and all the cars are what I would call a track toy. So. Kuntling Zeg is obviously uh, built for racing. The Devo is built for you know, a more corner-orientated Bugatti. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the Rosion, which is based on the Noble, so it's lightweight, um, and very track-worthy. Track so maybe jump in the Rosion. Okay. Um, See, so yeah, I think these things weigh 1,000 kilos. Um, so they're based heavily on the Noble M400, which was similar to a 12, I think. Um, so they use a Ford V6 that's um, twin turboed up to 500 horsepower, so that's about 500 horsepower per ton. So it's a fairly rapid little car. This um, Brozion took that kind of core concept and don't turn right, don't turn right. gave it a bit more uh, road ability. So it's got a nice interior. It's kind of more luxurious than the Nobles were. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Electric, electric mirror, electric um, mirrors and windows. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd hope that for a car built in 2013. <laughs> Hey man, I, I had a 2013 car uh, with uh, manual windows. Another car. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look it's at that Koenigsegg. It's quite egg. small, isn't it? It's very, very Yeah, they are very, very, small. very small cars. Um, uh, let's check. I suppose it comes from them being a, a based on a British car. Um, <coughs> obviously, we have quite narrow roads mm -hmm. in the UK, so it's beneficial. Uh, if you go back a couple. Uh, there we go. <coughs> so, yeah, this thing drives really well. Uh, so GT1 car, full slick tyres. Yeah, it is literally a race car. I would normally say a race car for a ro for the road, but this is just a race car. Uh, <laughs> are they actually street legal? Uh, well, Koenig's eggs are. This one wouldn't have been. Right. So it's okay. a bit naughty having it uh, well, on the road. But I'm sure Horizon got a special dispensation for it. Yeah. Yeah, the police on Horizon just look the other way. Weirdly, you never see the police, do you? It's weird. <laughs> as much as as fast as people drive. Never ever see police at the Horizon Festival. So yeah, as I say, this one, unlike all other Kerning's eggs, is normally aspirated. Uh, Kerning's egg back yeah. then was supercharged. Um, so Kerning's egg way back started with Ford engines. I think it's a Ford 4.6 they used with the supercharger on it. Um, heavily modified, of course. And then 
eventually built their own engine and started using the twin turbo architecture. Looks to be. There we go. Ah, the Devo. It's just an eight liter engine. Yeah, W16 quad turbo, 1500 odd horsepower. <clears throat> it's. And listen to that. Whoa, that's a good sound, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a fairly rapid car. So this is the one that can take corners? Yep. Still requires As you brake. go straight off the road. Well, I was testing how little brake I needed. More than that. <laughs> I mean, you have to remember it's still 1500 horsepower, so it's going to go fast in straight lines into corners. Now, I actually, actually haven't driven this at all in depth. This is my uh, first time driving it. So, remind me, how do people get this car, Tobin? So, uh, the Devo is 50% uh, in autumn. Okay, so not this week coming, but the week after. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And if you should miss it, there'll be another chance down the line. But definitely get it now because uh, be the, uh, you'll be the envy of people who are devoless. <laughs> you'll, devoless. You'll be the envy of people who skip this autumn. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, anyway. Uh, let's <laughs> 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 enough that's of that. Uh, I think <clears> probably <throat> that's probably unfair. Let's just have a look at it in our <coughs> car. Yeah. Can you pop into the cockpit? Yeah, let's just, I was going to, have to take a look around the outside first. Mm. Oh, look at that! It's got a uh, got a French flag on the side there, showing off. Those are the wheels that we teased on on the social media as well. I'm going to guess everybody guessed immediately what uh, it was. It, it, it took yeah. it took literally three seconds. Um, oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Can I read those buttons there. What do they do, Chris? Things. It's like a climate control, isn't it? Um, <coughs> I've never sat in one of these, so I don't really know what the buttons do. Yeah. Jeez. So you're an expert. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like most of it's built out of carbon fiber. Yeah, right, most yeah. of it will be, yeah. Gorgeous thing. So about how fast do you think this thing will go? Because uh, oh. it's good at corners, but there was a compromise to that, right? Yeah, so it has got more downforce than a Chiron. Um, but typically, when you try and make more downforce, you'll also make more drag, so mm. it will lose top speed. Um, I can't remember its top speed off the top of my head, so the Chiron recently in the limited edition form just broke the 300 mile an hour barrier. Um, this will not do that. Okay. Um, I mean, the That's other thing is when you're trying right, to- Torben, uh, we are looking at a brand new Horizon story. Yes, we are. It's it is uh, northeast, yeah. northwest. Oh, yeah, exactly. So we just uh, zip off that okay, this guy. with a cheeky fast travel. OK, so uh, this is, as you said, a, a new Horizon story added to the game, uh, a business. Uh, I think we've already bought it. I did. I bought it just before we started. Yes, yeah. uh, but the, the usual buy-in of 100,000 of your best credits, uh, in this case, to uh, join Alex in uh, upgrading sleeper cars. Yeah. So uh, let's oh, go in and uh, oh, take a look at the first oh, one. This and, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to physics. <laughs> uh, um, but a uh, thing that uh, I endeavoured to do the last time we did a story on a stream, spoiler alert, if anyone doesn't want to know the story, uh, look away duck now. off now. This is a legitimate thing that was <laughs> phrased up and we were asked to do. So I'm, 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 I'm delivering on that now. OK, yeah. Um, <laughs> come back in a couple of minutes, then, I guess. Um, anyway, so what's going on? Talk to me. Right, so um, it's, it's all built up around the idea of sleeper cars. You're working with, with Alex to go and pick up cars that people love, but they want to be more awesome than they are. OK. So it's all about you drive the courtesy car that you're going to leave with the owner while you drive back in their car, and Alex and his team turn it into an upgrade hero. Cool. So this is Alex's car, I take this it. Is, uh, this is Alex's uh, absolute piece of nonsense, uh, uh, Cleo. Uh, it's, it's absolutely great. Really, really kind of uh, rolly in like that great fun way. Uh, good. Just good. good for bothering sheep? Yes. <clears throat> You're really eager to go and, and, and pick up this car, I see. Right, great. Um, yeah, so uh, this is kind of tied into the Upgrade Heroes concept in the game. Uh, which is, which for, is for the, I mean, obviously I know what it is, but for, yes. for people watching who are not familiar um, with Upgrade Heroes. So it's a set of cars that we've curated upgrades for. Mm -hmm. uh, they live in a, a section of the menu called Upgrade Heroes. And we thought with the story, well, let's do a backstory for that. So you've come, you've picked up this, uh, this uh, Datsun 510. 
Uh, and you're going to drive it very carefully, because it's not yours, back to the garage, and Alex will do his magic on it. Be okay. able to overtake something. So who's to, who does this belong to? Um, this belongs... You're, you're diving into the deep law here, Mike. I, well, I don't have my law people who, don't, people who do not want the law have turned off. So yes. this is the only people left watching are people who want, want the spoilers. So <laughs> people who, who, who owns this data? Uh, wow, you... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to not be damaging you. It's supposed yeah, to be. I can damage it, but it's, I have a whole health bar there. It's fine. <laughs> Just right. don't hit any trees, OK? Because otherwise we'll be doing this chapter again. No, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, Fun, fun, fun story. We were talking about cars that uh, first cars and cars that uh, that we love. The first car that I ever owned was a Datsun. It wasn't a 510, unfortunately, but um, what was it? Wow, it was. Is it a Datsun Sunny? <sighs> yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was tiny. It was great. I loved it. Uh, yes, but let's let's move away. Is from that your that. first ever car? Yes. That's showing your age. That is then. Or just how old your first car was? <laughs> yes, both were accurate. <laughs> Um, okay, so we bring it back, we park it, and then over the course of a day, uh, Alex will do his magic, and that will turn from uh, from a zero into a hero. hero? I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so Chris, you, you you did these. You built you built all these. Uh, I did. Yeah. It wasn't really Alex. Uh, spoilers. No. He, <laughs> he, Alex is not a real person. More spoilers. But Chris, Chris is a real person, and uh, yes, well they're built built by me and Marco, uh, the other guy I work with. <laughs> Or so other, other car handling designer. If, you, if you're going through the auto show looking at the upgrade presets, uh, anything with over a thousand horsepower is actually Marco this time round. Okay. Um, I, so this was actually one I did. So this has the Forza wide body kit on it with mm. the oil cooler out the front, which is a concept that I still struggle with because that's not something you want to have rocks and things smash into or someone reverse a people carry into because it'll kill your engine. So this is it's a right. cool look. Though. It's a cool look. That. Um, you know, I particularly like how they just kind of rooted the feeds just up through one of the, one of yeah. the, the, the light wells. Well, you don't need headlights. Yes, well, three. You've still got three. Yeah, that's funny. Um, and the thing that I, I really enjoyed with this story was the opportunity to take cars. And there are a couple in the story that are really quite old and really quite low down the kind of the, the, the PI scale. So you really get a sense of, and we do some things to them that make them completely mad. I think uh, Matt Pickers on the Forza Monthly after us will pick up on a couple of those as well. So it was really an opportunity to take a car and try it out stock and then just see what upgrades can do to these cars. And of course, interestingly, this story actually unlocks every single car as a reward as you level up. Oh, uh, that's neat. So there's so, 10 cars on this story. So what's the, uh, what's the law there then? Is Alex just not giving these cars back after people uh, bring them in to get upgraded? Uh, I, 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 th I think, he's, I think he's, he's, he's probably like 3D printing them out the back or something. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> not get into 3D printing the keys. <laughs> collect oh, yeah. Chapter completes. Let's see how you did on that. How many chapters are there? There are 10 chapters, uh, 10 cars. Uh, so uh, to unlock all of the reward cars you're going to need, which include uh, a Koenigsegg and a Bentley, uh, you're going to need to three-star everything. You don't need to three-star everything to unlock a bunch of them because of the way our influence threads work. Pe people have, have seen this working before, but uh, the really good stuff isn't like stacked in at the end. It's just like um, sprinkled out as you get three stars. Cool, cool. We're going to take a quick, <coughs> have a quick peek at what's coming up in a future update. So, first of all, there's blacklisting cars. Do you want to? Yes, talk absolutely. About that? Um, do you want to drive around a little bit while we uh, while we chat about that? Okay. So, um, yes, switch to the Devo or switch to one of the cars we're going to look at. Anyways, okay. So uh, about uh, blacklisting cars, which is kind of the the internal name for this. Um, we know, and the community obviously know that there are some cars that are very, 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 very good at rivals events and uh, online adventure. And we've been thinking about ways that we can uh, work with that and, and address that. And we don't want to change the cars because the track tool, for example, is built in the way that it's built because it's a fun experience. And the bone shaker as well. They're, they're designed to be experiences. But we recognize the fact that that can be disruptive when you're trying to be really competitive in a rivals event, for example. So what we're doing is we're working up a system that will allow us to set a restricted car list for certain events, which will be rivals and online adventure. And those cars will not be uh, available for use in those events. And we will delete leaderboard entries that were generated historically by those cars. And uh, that will remove like the worst offenders that uh, we've seen from rivals and online adventure. 
Um, that's not unfortunately in this update because we're building it in a way that would allow us to be very specific, like only block the tractor in like B class if we needed to do that, or mm -hmm. B class and A class, but maybe leave it in the others if uh, if uh, that's not so much of a problem. And we'll be able to do that from uh, our servers, so we won't need to patch the game if, for example, we add in uh, more cars that possibly uh, end up being like really abusive in that kind of situation. So that update is coming. Uh, oh. As soon as we know more about that, we'll obviously share it in, in more detail. Show and 